Hey everyone, Demonite here, and in this video I wanted to showcase my disjointed doppelganger build for Jack, which is a build focused around using glitch weapons and also focused around DPS. So if you have seen my video about Jack's synergy with glitch weapons, you'll know that this um, build makes use out of Jack's skills to infinitely use a glitch effect on your glitch weapon. So for example I have this Mali-1 laser with an overcharge glitch active and when I reload it I would obviously use lose my glitch effect but with Jack I can just reload it like this and I won't lose the effect. So I wanted to make another video about this build because I want to go into a bit more detail and talk about everything. And I will also provide a download link in the description below, um, so you can try this build out for yourself. So let's start with Jack's skills right here. Um, in the Hero of the Story Tree we only have 3 skills and the first one is Best Foot Forward, which will increase your action skill duration per kill. Now combined with Leadership, um, you'll get this bonus every time one of your Digi Jack dies, so this will make your action skill a lot longer. It won't make it infinitely long because at some point you'll just stop getting the bonus from best foot forward but it definitely is a huge benefit. Then next we have just compensation which increases your grenade damage and magazine size depending on how many grenades you're carrying. And this just works great with glitch weapons because you would want a very high magazine size. And then we have Jack's cash which Basically will, will enable you to throw grenades even though you won't have any left because of just compensation. And this will also trigger a marginal benefit to which we'll get in a second here. Alright, so in the greater good tree we have integrity which is a multiplicative bonus. So this is a huge bonus to your DPS. Then we have collaborate which is just more gun damage. Um, then we have Synergy and you can see this is being boosted by my class mod because this is a very huge bonus um, because combined with leadership this will be active all the time. Um, then we have Teamwork which is a great healing skill. The, um, it gives you a lot of health regeneration and this is pretty much the only skill you need to survive um, with this build. And it is one of the two only defensive skills in this build. Then we have Commitment, which just is a nice little bonus to your fire rate and reload speed. And Accountability isn't really that great when playing solo, but um, it's still only one point, so you can definitely spec into it. And when you play with other people, this can be a pretty huge bonus to your fire rate and reload speed. Then we have Winning, which is the other defensive skill. Um, now the movement speed on this is very small. Um, without it being boosted by a class mod, um, it's barely noticeable at all. And I have a class mod which boosts this on here, but I'm just not using it right now. But the shield restoration of 25% is pretty nice because um, this will happen a lot because of leadership. Um, then we have Belief, which just like Synergy is being boosted by my class mod because um, it's active all the time. And it's just a huge bonus for your DPS. And then we have Potential, which just enables you to activate your action skill during Fight for Your Life. Um, which is pretty cool because um, also with Leadership you can just activate it in Fight for Your Life and get a second win without actually doing anything. And then we have Leadership, which is a very excellent skill because this basically makes all of your kill skills um, being active all the time and as I said it also works great with best foot forward so definitely an awesome skill alright and in the free enterprise tree we have high frequency trading which just increases your weapon swap speed which isn't really that great because with glitch weapons you do not want to swap your weapons too often because that will take away your glitch effect. But it is better than incentives which also relies on weapon swapping. And technically this is a pretty um, good skill if you're not using glitch weapons. And this is still a kill skill build so pretty much every weapon works with this build. So if you're not going to use glitch weapons you could technically 
take points from collaborate or winning and put them into incentives. But when using glitch weapons, this just doesn't do anything for you. Then we have marginal benefit, which is the core skill of this build. And that's because, as I said, if you reload your weapon, you'll lose your glitch effect. But with this, you can just throw a grenade and have a pretty high chance to reload your weapon. And like this, you will never use your glitch effect. And even if you don't have any grenades, um, Jack's cash will make up for that. Then we have money is power, which really isn't needed for this build. You will still be able to easily go mobbing and even kill bosses with this build. But of course money is power is a huge bonus and it's only one skill point so it's definitely worth specking into. Then we have company man, which just gives you more accuracy and critical hit damage. And we're using a lot of Hyperion equipment with this build so this is definitely great. And then here's another skill I didn't spec into, um, Taxation of Trade Roots, which again is a pretty good skill if you're not using glitch weapons, because you can just empty the magazines of three of your weapons, and then kill things with the fourth weapon. But when using glitch weapons, you will um, need the skill Marginal Benefit, which will reload all of your equipped weapons, so this doesn't work with um, Taxation of Trade Roots. So, if you're not going to use glitch weapons, you can spend points into here, but when you're going to, um, you do not want to lose the skill. Then we have Absolute Advantage, which is a brilliant skill, because this gives you a chance to not consume ammo, which will be active all the time because of leadership. And this is just great, because that makes you have to reload less often, or in this case, throw less grenades. And the last skill here is Sponsored By, which again is a very brilliant skill. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this, but I like to go just with Maliwan and put another element onto my weapon. Because as I said, you do not want to swap your weapons too often, so you can just put, for example, a Cryo element on your weapon. And you won't have to swap um, weapons to freeze enemies. Alright, and now to the weapons which I got on this build. So, I got a lot of glitch weapons here you can use with this build, because as I said, pretty much any weapon works with this. Um, even non-glitch weapons, but I only featured glitch weapons here, because this is a glitch build. But I guess we'll start just on the top here. So, Tidio Splitters, um, really great laser rifles, and... I went with an arrow code that features all of the glitches, because all of them work great with this weapon. Um, also, if the weapon can come in multiple elements, I'll have them here with corrosive shock and fire. So next we have the Gatling gun, which also works really great on this build and works also great with all glitches. Then we have anarchists, which again, um, really great weapons. I only went with the loop glitch and the M glitch here, because multi-shot and overcharge doesn't really work with anarchists. Then I have sniders here. Um, if you want to snipe with this build, that also works really good. Um, I just went with overcharge and M because loop and multi-shot just doesn't work with snipers very well. Then we have some thinkings here, which are really great shotguns. Um, just went with loop and multi-shot. Because overcharge just doesn't work with them, and amp isn't bad with them, but um, I wanted an error code which has four in those two glitches. Um, then we have a glitch ravager here, and normally I prefer a purple ravager over a glitch ra ravager. Um, but with Jack, I would still use a glitch ravager, because he can just keep those glitches active all the time. And again, I went with all glitches because that works with, um, because all of them work on this weapon. Then we have a spitter, which um, also works with all glitches, just as the quad here. And then we have Maliwan beams here, and those are pretty much the best weapons to use on this build because. Um, normally, when you have an overcharged glitch active, you will have heavily decreased fire rate. But with those weapons, um, 
your fire rate won't be decreased as you can see here and this is just a very huge damage output and um, this will these are just pretty much the highest DPS weapons in the game for Jack and I went with only overcharge and ampere um, really all glitches work great with this weapon but you really want to go for that overcharge here and since there isn't an arrow code which only features overcharge with 4 um, I also went with amp because that works also pretty good then some launchers um, if you can get a glitch active on those they'll be just devastating but it can be pretty annoying to get one active with these um, and I also went with all glitches because they all were good then a Mukamuk again if you want to snipe um, and again with only overcharge and amp and a Torx Slapper which also works really good and also works great with all glitches and then we have those uh, um, green Hyperion pistols and these are just placeholders for um, company men and I made them green so they are easier to find so you can just put two of those in here and uh, you'll get the extra bonus from company men so they're just placeholders and nothing special alright and now to the class mods grenades, auskits and shields on this build so these are all going to be Hyperion just for the extra bonus in company men um, but I guess we'll start with class mods here so I have the Celestial Doppelganger here, which is a really great class mod. Um, compared to the Entrepreneur, um, it technically has a higher DPS because of just compensation and marginal benefit. But um, that only works really good on big targets, so for mobbing I go with a Entrepreneur because that will still have a higher DPS than the Celestial Doppelganger because of synergy and belief here um, but the Celestial Doppelganger also will give you more healing and of course its passive bonus is really helpful for um, especially for things like the beams here so it's just up to you which one you prefer um, I prefer the Entrepreneur for mobbing and the Celestial Doppelganger for bosses or big targets um, and I also have a purple version of the Entrepreneur here just in case you want to get that extra bonus from winning but because as I said I want to go for damage so I'm not using that um, at all actually but it's still on this build in case you want to use it so then grenades we have a nasty surprise here because it can be a pretty decent cryo grenade sometimes but I prefer a singularity and I got both a cryo and a shock version here one to obviously freeze enemies and one to take down shields um, then all skits um, I have the eddy here which is just brilliant because it will give you more laser damage and all that and of course occasionally also heal you but it won't give you as much damage as this Arctic Duality Oz kit right here so I prefer that because of damage and technically I could go with um, putting Duality Oz kits for every weapon type on here but I think that's a bit too much so I just went with lasers because these are the best weapons to use um, so again just use what you prefer this has more survivability this has more damage um, and then we come to shields, the rerouters here, um, just for sniping, um, just to get some extra damage, and went with a fire resistant and a corrosive resistant version here. Then the shield of ages, um, I just put that in here because if you're going to use the purple entrepreneur, um, you're going to get. 45% of your shield restored every now and then and the shield of ages has a very huge capacity so that works out pretty good but the shield I mainly use is the prismatic bulwark just because of laser damage so again I went for damage here 
Alright, so that's pretty much my disjointed doppelganger build for Jack. And this build is pretty much the highest DPS you can achieve with Jack, at least when using the beams with an overcharge glitch. And the only um, build for Jack which would outdamage this is a TDR Jack build. But of course, TDR Jack isn't really great for mobbing and general going through the game. And only really works good on bosses. So, aside from TDR Jack, this is the highest DPS build. And works in pretty much any situation. So, um, as I said, I leave a download link in the description below so you can try this build out for yourself. And I let some gameplay with this build run now. So, see you guys. Look on your face. Leadership. Multiply the prettiness. in a sea of chiseled jaws! 